Regular career course 39, any short service commission, special duties course 38. Wamo and Shisha would wa a car and fear a do no, a mo a dino, a hono, a yadia mo aqua quaye, a dryer, a wo o su children's home, any 37 as a four ayah sabia wa bra. Wamo any Ghana military academy, and so and fimo, a bra wade and yomano emma, a wo o su children's home, enna, Lieutenant Colonel Franklin Jamana, a wono, enna wodi, a kono, any mo, edit two jasse. Wamo a ye o su children's home, essence, a mo a mo sen kwa da e wo ho no e ye o men da che enu ntino wo mo be be so masin ama mo da che nso etimi ewie peye wo mo fi ho no wo mo de mo ni chire mo e wo 37 na safo aya sabia e ho so e koma be shit se ne be ya o ha ho do mo e komu abra wo mo be shit en so aya fo e wo ho no nso no ano e betimi abra se ne kra kra no e no mo e de e che che dwumedie no e twa to a wo mo ye e de ma officers a e wo mo se ne be ya abri bia no wo mo e be di o mo ho ni e wo dwuma no emu e bra wo de na no disem e to draw and a president at the my year group no never lieutenant retired marian or kaya boa what the two draw a church at the entire moya and church you may know at the emma cadet for no it has been some 20 long years since we left the walls of this great training institution of ours the ghana military academy as we are fond of calling it it is for this reason that we have converged here this evening to celebrate our 20th anniversary with our alma mater. One may wonder the purpose for intake anniversary celebrations, or may even question its significance. In other words, whether or not it is really necessary to celebrate it at all. I dare say that such celebrations afford officers the golden opportunity to give back to the source from which they have been so richly nourished and equipped to pursue their military careers. Borrowing from Shakespeare's intimations of immortality from recollections of early childhood, I quote, the child is the father of the man. And so we consider the Ghana Military Academy as a child that fathered these wonderful officers that we see here this evening. The second reason is that it provides a great forum for us to network and bond with each other. For these reasons, we have come to share with you our experiences from our various fields of endeavor and also to interact and have a great time with you. On this note, I wish to thank you, Commanding of Sagana Military Academy, for this great opportunity given this intake to celebrate our 20th anniversary with you. Thank you, and God bless us all. And what you know, Lieutenant Colonel Seth G. Oday, one of the commanding officer at the Ma 5th Infantry Battalion, one of the most important in the country, and one of the most important in the country, and one of the most important in the I give you what you expect from you as a gentleman officer, and also, as commanding officer, what I'll be expecting from you when you join my regiment. As my president rightly said, 20 years ago, we were like you. And this very day, on the 20th of August, around the same time, you were here for the graduation ball. With full of excitement after going through a very hectic parade that afternoon, and it was a new feeling, changing from cadet to the graduation ball as officers, and then ready to chart a new path as officers in the Ghana Armed Forces. To you, to know that our presence here, as mentioned earlier, is to encourage you to know that there is a future for you as you commission just as you see us just in your midst, trying to tell you how the journey has been for the past 20 years. As we go through our topic for today, we want you to be aware that the training you are going through is not for, just for fun, but to make you the gentleman of sex that the army and society expect to have. In the olden days, the British, whom we copied our tradition, the officers were known as knights. And they were noted for courtesy 
and being gentle benefactors of the weak and oppressed. From their act of courtesy and benevolence was derived the word now pronounced as one, gentle man. A gentleman is exactly what the word signifies, being gentle and being a man. And the two have been put together to make gentleman. And it signifies that stance of the knights who were then courteous and benevolent to the poor and the weak. An officer, from a simple definition then, as you all know from our training, is a leader of men. He must show himself of such qualities as he desires to bring out in those under his leadership. The officers at all levels of command in various units of the armed forces are required to show in themselves good example of virtue, Anna. Wamudi Yeno and an old cadet for no so a day nine footer de Fiza Emma Ghana Military Academy said Wamufa and Dum Juma. Thank you for sharing this wonderful presentation with us. And we 